The Society of the Divine Word is the largest international missionary congregation of priests and brothers in the Catholic Church. We preach the gospel and share the Word of God by living, working, teaching, and serving others through our ministry. Founded in 1875 by St. Arnold Jansen, the Society of the Divine Word, commonly known as Divine Word Missionaries, has grown to include over 6,000 brothers and priests ministering in over 70 countries around the world. Each one is involved in a unique ministry as we spread the Word of God. We are called to serve where the gospel has not yet been preached or where the local church is not yet viable on its own. We fulfill our cross-cultural, worldwide mission while working among the poor, neglected, and disadvantaged. An emphasis on internationalism, education, and professional skills is the foundation of our society, enabling us to minister throughout the world. We leave our home countries to minister in one of our society's global missions. We learn the languages, embrace cultures, living and working side by side with those we serve. You will find Divine Word missionaries in parishes, in schools as teachers and administrators, and in areas like science, media and technology, and practical skills. Young men considering the life of a missionary priest or brother often ask, How do I become a Divine Word missionary? We call the process formation. Formation is really a journey, one of discovery and development, helping you to grow both spiritually and personally. Formation helps you to understand your vocation. It will prepare you for a commitment to serving God's people. Formation guides you in discovering if God is calling you to be a Divine Word missionary. Divine Word missionaries offer five formation programs. Each one helps you to discern God's call and acquire the intellectual and spiritual growth in a cross-cultural environment preparing you for missionary service. The programs are designed for different stages of your journey and can be individualized to meet the needs of each candidate. For candidates without a college degree, the first step on your journey is enrolling in Divine Word College, located in Epworth, Iowa. Divine Word College is the only Roman Catholic college seminary in the United States with the primary goal of educating students for missionary service. As an undergraduate seminary student, your formation will consist of five areas, academic, personal, spiritual, and ministry, all within a cross-cultural community living environment. It's critically important, but it, it also requires patience and, and a long-term view of bringing people to, um, to that kind of finished product stage. Uh, and, and we're able to do that because most students will be with us five years, six years, and we very patiently with a lot of attention from a, a dedicated caring faculty are able to see some uh, really remarkable results. Uh, students possess a lot of innate intelligence and ability, but they need uh, nurturing and help to open up the avenues by which they can discover all those gifts that they have and then bring them to uh, and look like fruition. Majors at Divine Word College include philosophy, cross-cultural studies, and religious studies. These majors are critically important to becoming a Divine Word missionary. Philosophy is a foundation for theology and the pastoral life of a priest. The U.S. Catholic bishops require 30 credit hours of philosophy before priesthood candidates can begin graduate studies in theology. Uh, definitely since I, I've been to Divine Work College, it's definitely uh, enforced that you know relationship and um, we go to Mass daily. Um, we have Holy Hours, we have Sunday Vespers, so uh, you know, even in the midst of a, uh, you know, doing studies and things like that, I have a uh, spiritual formator, Father Walter, and you know, he always, uh, you know, I meet with him, uh, you know, at least once a month and things like that, and he gives me, you know, uh, prayers and he gives me things to reflect to help me further deepen that relationship a, uh, with Jesus, and again, uh, you know, it tells me take time out and, you know, go in a, uh, you know, a, uh, sit in front of the sacrament and, and just reflect. The Cross-Cultural Studies program prepares you to live with, 
understand and enjoy the people of other cultures and to understand your own worldview. This equips you for future ministry as a leader in the global church. You know, that's another thing that kind of a, uh, uh, you know, whetted my appetite for Divine Word College is, you know, in the military, there's a lot of international, uh, you know, communities, people from all over. And that's one thing that I love, uh, you know, learning about people from, uh, you know, different cultures and, you know, living together, you know, you, you learn to appreciate your own culture and, you know, that of others. Every single faculty member I talked to about why they were here and why they stayed here, because most people have been here much longer than I have, uh, their first answer is always the students. Um, they have wonderful personal relationships with the students because what the students do here is such a personal thing. I think that's part of the secret of this vocation of being a missionary is being able to rejoice and find a great deal of fulfillment and blessing in, in meeting people who come from very different backgrounds, who are very different from us. And the, the source of that joy ultimately is a realization that, that it's Jesus who calls us together and that it's God who makes it possible for us uh, to meet one another and get past things that for the world are often obstacles. Uh, for us, they become a means to a much richer and deeper way of life. The associate formation program is designed for men who already have a bachelor's degree and wish to discern their vocation with Divine Word missionaries. This is a residency program which allows candidates to live in a Divine Word community, continue their education, and participate in ministry firsthand. Is the program designed for those who have had a bachelor's degree already, a BA or BS in any field, and now uh, they feel a call and they want to become a missionary, a Divine Word missionary. So that program is designed for those people. So when they join this associate program, all they need, it depends. If they want to become a brother or a priest, we have different programs though. But if they, if they want to become a brother, we have the program for, 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 for them to train them first for a year or two years to learn some basic theology or scriptures or, or the church before they go to the visit. And the same thing with uh, if, if associate candidates want to become a priest, uh, divine word, uh, missionary priest, then we have a different program because uh, nowadays the church requires uh, those candidates to learn at least 30 credits of philosophy and 12 uh, credits of pre-theology. So it takes up almost two years to fulfill that requirement before they can enter into novitiate. After you complete your degree at Divine Word College or participate in the associate formation program, the next step on your journey is a canonical year of novitiate at our province headquarters in Chicago, Illinois. This year is an opportunity for you to focus on the spiritual, personal, and vocational aspects of your journey to religious life. The life in novitiate is a year-long time period that will allow me to really be quiet, to listen to God, to be in relationship with God real closely, and to have the time to learn about what religious life is all about so that I can make that full discernment, to make that real decision at the end of my year to, to whether to make that vow to be a religious or not. And I think that one year will be a blessing, a blessing time to really find myself and find my vocation. The novitiate year is designed to help you mature and clarify your vocation. It provides a basic introduction following Christ in a deeper way. Our Constitution state, through a living union with the Divine Word and through life in community, a novice should come to understand himself more clearly and know our society better so that he may make a mature and responsible decision about his vocation. In the novitiate, you will put aside academic requirements and the busyness of everyday life and focus on your inner life. The novitiate year is centered on making sufficient time available for prayer, meditation, spiritual reading, and vocational discernment. The novitiate year is also about experiencing life in a close-knit community with your novitiate classmates and with the wider SVD community. If God continues to call you, at the end of your novitiate year you will profess temporary vows of consecrated chastity, 
evangelical poverty, apostolic obedience, and become a member of the Society of the Divine Word. The vows really mean freedom to me, but it's, it's not freedom as we normally understand it. Um, the vow of chastity is, gives one the ability to serve with an undivided heart. We're able to give ourselves entirely to Christ and the congregations that we serve. Um, the vow of poverty um, doesn't just entail material poverty, but uh, poverty of spirit, um, ability to overlook oneself and to be able to give oneself wholeheartedly to those who we serve. After completing novitiate, priesthood candidates live at Divine Word Theologate on Chicago's South Side and attend Catholic Theological Union to complete their theology studies. The formation program at the Divine Word Theologate assists members in temporary vows to live in a Christ-centered community and helps bring about greater human maturity and professional competence. For SVDs who are studying here, doing their theology, this is a good environment to prepare them for the future in the world because they are going to be working together with lay people and other people in their own ministry. And again, I go back to this image of the body of Christ, that we're all a part of this body of Christ. So here at CTU, we have some, we have 120 who are currently seminarians studying for ordained ministry. We have another probably 80 who are priests, brothers and sisters who are doing other degrees here. Half our students are lay people who are preparing for all types of ministry in the church. And all of us together here at CTU, it's a school of theology and ministry. It's not just theology to fill one's head, but it really is to be the service to God. So here at CTU, in a classroom, you have people who are preparing for all sorts of ministries in this way. This part of your vocational journey is focused preparation for ordination to the priesthood through theological studies, supervised ministry experiences, spiritual growth, and living in a multicultural environment. Following novitiate, Divine Word Missionary Brothers participate in the Brother Formation Program and live in the Wendelin community at Divine Word Theologate. A priest uh, is a spiritual leader in the congregations. He helps the congregations in all their spiritual needs, you know, in terms of the sacraments. A brother and a priest are both religious. They're both religious as in they live in, a, for the SVDs, we live in the same community. We live in a religious community. We're all the same in, on every aspect. But it's just that in terms of ministry, the brother can have a wide variety of vocations and he will serve the people in those various vocations. For example, there are brothers who are teachers, who are nurses, who are builders, who goes into to help construct villages for people to live in. Ordinarily, brothers in temporary vows continue their education and professional development while attending college or university in the Chicago area. Brothers continue to grow in personal maturity, ministry service, and spiritual development. We're looking for someone who's healthy, who's, who's balanced, has a good sense of humor, has the ability to complete a college education and maybe graduate studies and beyond. Um, maybe most importantly though, we're looking for someone who has a, a willingness to serve, uh, a desire to help other people. Uh, prayer life's an important part of becoming a religious priest or brother, someone who's committed to prayer. Uh, I would say those are the two biggest things, prayer and service, that we look for in a young man who's considering a religious vocation. But specifically with the SVD, we're a missionary community. And uh, I think what sets us apart from many other religious communities, similar in other missionary communities, but is our multicultural, uh, interracial communities that we live in. A vocation comes to people just in very, very different ways. And um, no matter who you are, God's going to speak to you and lead you in a way that uh, fits to your life. And if your eyes are open and your ears are open and your heart is open, um, you'll figure out uh, where you need to go and, and God will uh, give you enough light and understanding uh, to make a, a good choice and to understand if in fact you are chosen by God for this life. These formation programs lead you on a journey to discern God's call in your life. We will prepare you to make a commitment to the vows of religious life, grow in personal and spiritual maturity, and develop professional knowledge and skills. Making the decision to enter a Divine Word Missionary Formation program is an exciting adventure. 
helping build God's kingdom and minister to God's people. Thank you.